On today's ChurchTechCast.com screencast show, getting audio playlists to loop in ProPresenter 5. Hi, and welcome again to another episode of the ChurchTechCast.com screencast show. This is the show where every week we talk about using some sort of software in the church. My name is Paul Allen Clifford, and I'm your host. I would love you to ask your questions, by the way. So head on over to TrinityDigitalMedia.com slash contact, or just leave your questions underneath the video, whether you're watching on YouTube or on TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Either way is perfectly fine. You can always hit me up on Twitter, by the way. Paul Allen Cliff, P-A-U-L-A-L-A-N-C-L-I-F is a great way to reach me as well. So let's head on over to ProPresenter 5. So this past weekend at church, I ran into this issue, and I don't know how I missed it, but I guess it just goes to show that, you know, there's always more to learn. And so... A lot of times I come into church and someone has done the work of setting things up and so I just go with it. Well, this week something had changed. So this is our a pre-service loop. You know what that looks like, okay? So um, that's going over here and the reason it's all screwy is because I haven't adjusted that. but. You see what's going on. Now, if I wanted audio to go with this, here, let me set this back to the way it is. I would click on the audio button. You can go to, I think it's under actions. Um, oh, yeah, view audio bin, control A, and that will take it over there. So that's under view, not actions. It was in that vicinity. So anyway, here we are, and this is the audio bin. I've already gone through and I've added audio. I just click down here. Do, 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 do. Just a second while this does this. And then I've opened up a, uh, an album and I've uh, pressed shift and then clicked on the first and clicked on the last with shift pressed down. And then I can get open. I can also, by the way, this is just an aside, hold down either command or control on a PC and click some of them, okay? Then click open. So I'm going to actually cancel that because I've already done this over here. Now, if we were to play this, what would happen here? I'm going to advance this just so that you can see that what happens when I'm on this pre-service playlist here. I'm on this pre-service playlist and I'm just playing along here. Let me advance it. And what you'll see is that this is going to stop completely in just a few seconds. And that's a bit of a problem because I had this problem. I was looking right at it. I had a Christmas playlist, which as I'm recording this, we're after Christmas, so it wasn't any good to use the Christmas playlist anymore. So w the Christmas playlist was working perfectly fine, so I knew it wasn't a, a new version of ProPresenter that was doing this. And so I just tried to figure out what it is. Why is it that I would play a song and it would stop at the end? Now, if you go, let's say that this post-service playlist is the Christmas one that was working fine, you might look and go, well, all those songs are the same, everything's the same. Almost. Look right here. On the right-hand side here, you'll notice that it has an arrow and then 
like a bar. Well, what that is, is just as there are three behaviors that a video can have, so just to remember, you've got loop, stop, and palindrome, there are actually three behaviors that a audio um, file can have. So we have loop, next, and stop. Loop loops just this one song over and over and over again. So let me click on another one and click on it and we'll let this play and then I will show you here in just a few seconds that it will start all over again. And keep in mind this is 507 so we expect this to start off at 507 and then go to 506. Three, two, one, go to zero, and it'll start over, see, 504, 503. So that's just for looping the one song. The default behavior is stop. So for stop, it plays and it does what I just showed you, which it just stops. Not good for a pre-service loop. What you actually want is to right-click, Behavior, go to Next. Right-click, Behavior, go to Next, and so on. So you can just keep doing this. Now, the one currently playing will not be affected, so you will have to listen for the end if you don't want anyone to notice, or just start the next song just by clicking it. But once you do that, then if we go down here towards the end of this, there we go, then we'll notice that it goes to this next song here in 13 seconds or so. So it's certainly the case that this is a useful feature when you're setting up an audio playlist. Another, and you'll see that it just did it, another useful feature is that you can put audio on one slide. Now I've talked about this before and when you do that I've grayed this out and made this identical so that I can start the music right here and when I start the music right there, it'll continue on. And that's a single click to start that all up. So you can end with the video and then go immediately to both music and a slide. Here's the problem though. When you do that, it doesn't go to the next item in this playlist. That's just for this one particular song. So you really need to handle that for the really fast transition and then you have some time to fix it for the rest of the transitions by going and clicking on these making sure they're set to go to next or what I did here in this post service uh, playlist here and just click on the next one in the Thing. and now it'll loop. Now you can go to the bathroom, you can go get coffee, you can do whatever you need to do. And keep in mind that every single one of the things that you're dealing with are in the library over here. So you'll notice this TNB 13. This is a show I did last year in 2013. As I'm recording this, it's 2014. Just for a little bit longer you'll notice that that is in neither one of these. So you can organize them in playlists and there's no reason why the post service playlist can't just have fewer songs so I can just remove these from the playlist. You know, and now the pre-service one is like this, the post-service one is like this. You'll also notice that some of these are set to stop, some of them are set to continue. You could even have some set to loop. 
And an additional feature is you can set it as a sound effect. And once you set it as a sound effect, that sets it out as uh, visually different and makes it to where it can also be triggered on a specific slide. So there you go. That's a little bit of how you can work with the audio bin in ProPresenter 5. Well, I hope that helped you. I hope that that's something that you've noticed that uh, you can use as part of your church to put uh, just a loop of music on during church, uh, either beforehand or afterwards. Now, keep in mind that you might have to deal with some copyright issues, some licensing, etc. But I really hope that from a technical standpoint, that really helps you in what you're doing. If you like this content, don't hesitate to sign up for my email newsletter list by heading over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S, and you can pick up my top five ProPresenter tips on ways to take your presentations to the next level. You'll also get a free copy of my new newsletter, so I'd love for you to join me in that. I send out tips, tricks, and all kinds of stuff every week. So head on over and do that. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com.